Hey, this is Tim at JNL Miniatures. Um, just wanted to show you some of the the new stuff that I just got yesterday. Um, it's a uh, ahead of schedule for me to uh, pick something like this up, and uh, I'm pretty grateful for my uh, my rep uh, to get me this stuff. Um, this is the new Lizardman uh, Codex that'll be out next month. Um, I just wanted to take and uh, briefly show you some of the stuff, um, some of the pictures, and um, it is uh, simply amazing. Uh, I love the way they did the uh, Stegodon. Um, the Temple Guards are fantastic. There's uh, quite a few um, um, cool things that you can do now with your uh, Croc scores by putting them in with units of Skinks to give them uh, um, ranks and uh, outnumbering abilities and stuff like that. Um, I still need to read up on it a little bit more to uh, get a little bit more of an idea of how everything works. Um, first thing I wanted to show you was the uh, the Temple Guard. The Temple Guard now are in plastic. Uh, they did a fantastic job on their uh, on their weapons. Um, they pretty much go together just like the regular sources um, with the uh, extra leg or the leg you attach um, and then it makes the the lower part for the uh, to connect into the base. Uh, they give you uh, extra bits like jaw bits. The heads look a lot uh, nicer. The skulls on top of the Temple Guard are a lot smaller. They're not as uh, as huge as what they were before with the metals. Uh, highly detailed, fantastic, fantastic jobs. Um, I believe this is a, a 10 man unit so you would get uh, two uh, basic command sprues and then you get two smaller sprues and uh, that would be your your ten man uh, uh, box that's going to be coming out right there. Um, these should be out, I believe, the uh, middle of next month or towards the end of next month. And then I wanted to take and show you the new Stegadon. This thing is incredible. It is huge. When they say it takes up a, a chariot sized base, it takes up a chariot sized base. This thing is just fantastic. Uh, it has two different types of heads, um, one with the mouth open, one with the mouth closed. Um, it has two carapaces, which is the back part of the head. Um, you can see one right here, the other one right here. They have divots, um, as you can see right here and right here, down here on this one. I'll try to turn this one so you can see it a little bit better. Um, there you go. And you can see the divots in there. And that's for the additional horns that you have. They come with quite a few different horns. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, very highly detailed. Um, looks very easy to put together. And then uh, this is the uh, sprue for all the uh, skinks. Um, there's a skink priest in here. There's, uh, I believe, uh, six more skinks. Uh, there's uh, the War Machine of the Ancients that you can build, so you can have an Ancient Stegodon. Um, the Howda is very nice. Here's the here's the floor of the Howda right there. This is one of the back pieces. But very nicely detailed. Uh, here's the, the giant crossbow. They have also uh, giant uh, blowguns, which are right here. There's uh, I think you can fit it with two of them. You can either have the um, the War Machine of the Gods, um, the giant bow, or you can have the uh, the giant blowguns, and uh, that's one of the three options you can have. You can see how the, this right here is one of the seats. I think that's for the priest. Um, it's fantastic, you know, detail work. They look really good. The skinks look a tad bit smaller but it might be just me because they're on such a large uh, sprue with everything else but they look fantastic um, they did a great job sculpting the high detail there's War Machine of the Gods right there I believe that's what it's called but that's my uh, my review um, just wanted to let you take a look at that and see the Stagadon I believe the Stagadon is like 45 or $50 uh, well worth it especially if you're a Lizardman player um, this is a, a, a nicer looking piece than, than the metal one and it's going to be a lot easier to, to move around and uh, carry with you and not have to carry about two pounds worth of lead. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or any comments uh, please leave them, I'd greatly appreciate it. Again this is Tim from JNLMiniatures.com. Thank you.